All right, my name is Sean Foy, and I am a digital illustrator, designer, author, and what's the other thing I do? Oh, no, I forgot. <laughs> Artist, there we go. <laughs> I got started in St. Croix and uh, through my cousin who was also an artist and I would go and hang out with him and harass him and read comics. He introduced me to anime and he would let me draw, he would draw his own comics so I would uh, harass him to see if I could ink him or draw and he'd just give me my own sheet of paper and like sit in the corner, you know. But uh, he was always very open about letting me come over and draw and hang out. And then just from there, uh, just kept at it. Ended up, you know, uh, going to arts high school, arts college, and then uh, continue to draw, hoping to make this a career, which I kind of stapled together. <laughs> <laughs> I just try to tell honest stories, or at least, yeah, honest stories from my point of view. It's from a black man's perspective, but I think it's universal. Like the subject matters that I discuss in my writing and in my drawings. Uh, I do a lot of conceptual work, uh, but it can always tie back into the human experience. And I mean, most artists, we're all painting the human experience. All, the only difference we really have is just our perspective. So if I'm gonna break that answer down, it's just my personal perspective. And if you dig it, you dig it. If you don't, that's okay. You will one day though. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and, and as far as my writing goes, same definitely, definitely goes with that. Like my writing, if I'm gonna be honest, it's like reading my journal. It's just uh, a very, uh, better put together journal <laughs> uh, uh, quick quips into the human experience what has the most influence on my style of art would it would have to be my perspective as a black Caribbean man in the United States of America I think a lot of a lot of my art focuses around that without saying it explicitly and sometimes very explicitly it's still universal in some way. It just based on some of the subject matters. Like you don't have to be a black man to enjoy a good painting. Oh, that I've made anyway, you know what I mean? <laughs> I should say that. The Caribbean culture it, it, it is, is a bit slower. We take our time a little more. And, and in that, I even go into my art like that. Like I don't, I don't rush the idea. But once it's there, I get on top of it though. And an another aspect of my culture that is present, colors and the colors that I use is the brightness, the the joy in it. You can you can see it uh, even when I'm using muted colors. Like you see around, it's still bright. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Uh, and I think that's also just part of and in my personality as well. So I think that all comes out uh, in some form or fashion. So primarily when it's with my paintings, my medium of choice has been acrylics and watercolors uh, for the most part. And I've been, and pen and ink, uh, but I do pen and ink kind of to warm up my hands, uh, but primarily watercolor and acrylic and I've been slowly just moving towards acrylic and simplifying even the colors I'm using like in some of these paintings I'm just doing solid colors black and white now and I'm trying to challenge myself because I want to put so much information in the piece I, I'm trying to challenge myself uh, and slowing that down and I, like, I'm trying to treat it the same way I've been treating my writing where I don't need a bunch of flowery words to get to the point I'm just trying to get to the point and, and as quickly but as uh, exciting as possible. <laughs> I'm minimizing the things I'm doing by just keeping it simple. And so my ideas and cultivating that, I'm like, oh, this is a grandiose idea. And then, I, and then I'll word tree it out or I'll write it. I was like, how can I say all of this but simpler? Yeah, that's, that's where I'm moving towards. 
So it's looking like, oh, this is black and white. But it's like, no, this was like months of me understanding and drawing and working it out. It's like doing it on the computer. It's like, would just a single color background make sense? Oh no, people think, no, 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 just get it out. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> Specifically with watercolor, you can be as messy as you want. And once you know how to use a material, that it's like a control chaos, which I really like about it. Not that there is no mistakes, because you can also control watercolor with high degrees. I don't. But, <laughs> but I do, because I know how to manipulate it. So that's what I've always liked about it, where uh, I can cheat a little bit with it, where it's like, ah, I don't have to have the lighting right on this, because the splash is going to give bad instead. I can't be giving away all my, my trade secrets, but <laughs> but no, I, I like that. And acrylic, honestly, just my laziness, it just dries quicker. I've painted with oil maybe once or twice. And I'm like, this is, I got things to do. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to finish this and my ADHD is gonna kick in and I'm gonna go somewhere else, <laughs> never do it. <laughs> and, and you can treat acrylic, it can, Manipulate it like watercolor, but I don't. I just treat it as such just because I like that it dries quicker. I can keep moving on the paint. It's cathartic to release these emotions. I have an outlet, and I know a lot of people don't have that. And it's an outlet that I had to cultivate over years of practice and time, but I'm thankful if there's anything, I'm always able to express how I feel, whether the world sees it or not. It's not inside of me though. It's always been helpful for my personal mental health journey <laughs> to be able to express myself. Everything else is just kind of like, because I freelance, uh, I'm afforded freedom of time and I have enough discipline to utilize that time properly or, you know, take a nap. <laughs> but, but if I don't work, I don't eat. So I, I do my best to utilize my time properly. I don't know, I've been doing art long enough where it's just like, it wasn't cool to be freelancing, and now it's kind of cool. So it's just like, all right, well, it, it's never gonna change for me. So th there's no cool factor for me. It's just like, I remember when none of the girls liked me. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't feel that cool making art. <laughs> Biggest challenge, uh, especially freelancing, it will probably never change. It's you gotta hunt for what you eat. <laughs> and uh, when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's bad. But you learn you learn over the years how to budget better, how to spend less, how to not, oh, I got all this money now, I'm about to go. And hey, you know, cool out, you still gotta pay taxes. <laughs> you get a check, 20% off top, just put it to the side. So you don't have to deal with that later. Or if you're paying quarterly. Like these are the things that I'm like, in my adulthood as a freelancer, it's like, no, 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 I know, I'm not messing around. It's like, but you just got paid, you wanna go? Nah, I wanna, nah. let me see first, <laughs> off top, what goes away, and then we can talk afterwards. <laughs> I've been drawing since I was three, and, and even though that love has waned and shifted and went up, I really enjoy doing this. <laughs> yeah, it's just fun. I would be writing anyway, if even if I didn't have books, because I couldn't stop writing. It was just like, well, these bars gotta go somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is fire. <laughs> like, <laughs> even if I'm the only one in here enjoying it, this is fire. I gotta get this. <laughs> so yeah, no. And same with painting. Like, I don't even have a show I'm painting for right now. I, I, I'm envisioning one, and uh, there are no prospects. But I was like, just in case. Also, this is fun. Can I, it's a challenge. That part too. I like a good challenge. If I had to elevator pitch it, I just say I'm a, I'm a black man making his way through America. Yeah. And my art is the vehicle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>